Hello, I'm Nick Kolakowski, Senior Editor of DICE, and I'm here to break down DICE's latest tech professional sentiment data. The tech industry is changing quickly, and we wanted to dig into how tech professionals like you feel about their work, careers, and what they want and expect from employers. We're going to present the results in a series of articles over the next few days, and I hope we'll use them to tweak your job hunts and boost your careers. Here are some key takeaways from our data. First, our data highlights how remote work remains very important to tech professionals. Three quarters of those we interviewed said it was extremely or very important to work remotely at least three days per week. You know that many companies are pushing their workers to return to the office for four or even five days a week, but that definitely isn't what tech pros want. They would prefer some additional flexibility over when and where they work. Second, 60% of tech professionals said that they'd be likely to change employers in the next year, which is a 15% increase over last year. Given the current economic uncertainty, that's a startling statistic. Tech professionals are clearly confident in their skills, and they sense new opportunities in the market. Don't let news of layoffs and downsizing potentially dissuade you from exploring new, better paying opportunities. Third, pay transparency is increasingly important to tech professionals. When they're looking for a job, they want to see a salary range. If they don't see one, it'll discourage them from applying. As you'll see in the data, many companies haven't come around to posting their salary ranges from positions. But don't let that dissuade you from asking about compensation and negotiating for whatever you feel you deserve. Fourth. Culture is key, and it impacts whether a tech pro decides to join a particular company. During the job application and interview process, ask questions about the company's culture and values. How the recruiter and hiring manager respond could give you some great data about whether you'd actually want to work there. That's just a small sliver of the useful information that we've produced. As you give these articles a read, think about how all of this sentiment data can help you make ideal career decisions, and we hope that you find this useful.